Right, I think this next one against C20, uh, C220. I lost this. I figured... In one turn? Yeah, yeah. I, I want to show you guys that it's sometimes on the ladder, you're going to play some tilt. Uh, there's going to be things that are completely out of your control. And this is best of one. You could get really angry, walk away from your computer, uninstall the client, do a post on Twitter that no one cares about. Or you can just accept it for what it is. And, like, if you're taking the format too seriously, remember, things like this are legal uh, by design. And you just got to, like, shrug your shoulders and move on. You didn't even hit the fast forward button. We, I'm not even, we don't need to talk about the combos. <laughs> I'm dying to see what he, He's got the diamond picture. I've never seen anyone have that yet. He's also level 28. What have you got to do to get the diamond? I actually don't know. Like I said, I've never even seen it in the mission list. Uh, probably win like a million games. Level 28. This is quite a while back as well. So, yeah, opponent is playing Gem Knight. Adam Anamant. Emancipator, it looks like he's on. Yeah. Yeah, Block Dragon shenanigans. Why Block Dragon is legal, I'll never know. Yeah. Again, like, I'll level up for Diamond Icon. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's just a case of just, you can't, there are going to be some games you just literally can't do anything. It's going to be a lot of you get down. Some games are going to be first. So the point is just to not let it affect you, uh, your mental game. And then you just need to focus on that. In fact, a really great book I'd recommend to you guys is The Inner Game of Tennis. Now, I don't like tennis. I don't, I don't care about it at all. But it really talks about the aspects of getting your mentality right to prevent tilting or helping yourself improve and focus on different parts of the game that you want to prove out. It's like setting yourself a goal of like, I'm going to just make sure that I serve 10 amazing shots this game. And that's the goal as opposed to winning the game. And it's something you can do in Yu-Gi-Oh uh, as well. Be like, okay, I'm going to just do my comp. And eventually you start to branch off from that and it starts turning into a winning strategy. But uh, you can't let stuff like what happens in this game uh, tilt you. No hand traps, opponent playing Gem Knight. Uh, anybody who's unfamiliar, uh, it's an FTK it can kill you before you ever get to play a card. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Oh, with even the if Master I could Diamond play cards, copying the Lyra Uh Even if I could play cards, Black Garden is filling my mind monster zones, and I don't play Security Dragon in this deck to clear them. So <laughs> I'm already in a really bad way, even if I did get to play a single card. So is he just going to go into like Anaconda to dump Instant Fusion and summon the Nightingale? Because I don't know how he's... Oh. oh, no, there's a Lapis Lazuli that also burns, isn't there? Yeah, there is. And guess what? There's a Gem Knight that copies the Fusion monster as well. Yeah, Master Diamond copies the Fusions. I, I knew this was going to be Master Diamond twice. I just thought it was going to be Nightingale with the Anaconda. No, but no, it's uh, yeah, going to be enough summons to give me the full build. Yeah. Yeah, and the pro one of the challenges with the Agnes for deck is... Well. Even if I could use the Link Spider to get rid of one of these tokens... I do not have room to fill my extra deck with generic stuff because you need to have all of the different elements to search for them with AI met you. Yes. But, uh, yeah, so this game is some nonsense. This is perfectly legal. You can go build this uh, Gem Knight deck right now and do this stuff with people. You'll win, you'll win some games. There's games where you uh, will have yeah. to play into an established Apparently build. enough to get to level 28. Yeah, like, you, you definitely can. If you're looking for something to just uh, grind and just get the wins... Yeah, there you go. It's, uh, this is one you can definitely play. Uh, actually, I don't think you can look at the opponent's deck. The problem I've found is if the opponent changes their deck uh, in the client and then you go back to confirm opponent's deck, uh, it just fails and reboots the entire game. Yeah, the option's not even there for guests as well. 